operations here in Marshalltown in the industrial area. Uh, this is part three. Right now our Jeeps is pulling this CNW box car off of the yellow track and then we're pushing it onto the green track. And then that whole string of cars that are on the green track will be shoved through the other end down to the industrial area. And we will, on this part of the video, this third part, we'll be switching mainly ADM plant and white trucking. will be the two customers that we'll be taking care of. And these are all the card and way bills for that string of cars that's on uh, the green track. So the switch is thrown. And our crew is shoving the string through. call it the green and yellow tracks because of the orientation of the spurs. All the yellow tracks actually go to the west, direction west, and all the uh, green tracks go to the east. They face east, those spurs do. So we designate them those two colors so when the yard operator is sorting the cars uh, we have little yellow dots on the waybills and little green dots on the waybills so they know which tracks to put those cars on since they're all going to Marshalltown Industries it just makes it less confusing for the yard operator to give them a little color code to go by. This first loaded covered hopper in the shed for unloading at the ADM plant. And all the covered hoppers on this uh, cut of cars are loaded with corn. And they'll make this corn into corn syrup. Now, this red Santa Fe boxcar. is going to White's trucking, so we're just gonna spot it over here out of the way temporarily till we get all the ADM cars into their proper spots here. The White's will be the last thing the crew will switch before they leave the area. So we'll cut her loose, cut this Santa Fe box loose right there for the time being. And we'll push this other covered hopper into the shed also for unloading. And the two tank cars that are behind this are empties and they will be going to the loading pack platform where they'll be loaded with corn syrup. And corn syrup is very fattening in about everything. Try not to consume too much of it because uh, it, I think it's a big problem of causing people to be obese. I don't know if I should have said that or not. But it is a huge industry. So these two tank cars are empties and we're going to shove them down to the platform. What's better, making corn into corn syrup or making corn into ethanol? Alright, we'll 
cut those loose there. And then we got another loaded hopper car. We're pushing to the shed. There's two unloading tracks for uh, the covered hoppers. Only one loading track for the tank cars. It takes several covered hoppers of corn to make a tank car of corn syrup. I wish I had enough room on my layout to actually make this facility a lot bigger than what it is. But we just do with what we've got. Just tried to kind of capture the industry a little bit anyway. All right, we're going to shove these all the way back until that first one there is inside of the shed. This is a really good area to switch. You can keep somebody busy on an ops night for about an hour and a half, sometimes almost two hours, depending on how much traffic you got to move. All right, so they tied them down there in the shed, and we've got a southern box car on the end of this uh, string of cars now, and we'll put it over with that red Santa Fe box car, get it out of the way for the moment. Switch is lined up and push this box car back. And couple onto the Santa Fe. And leave it there for the time being. We've got two more loaded cupboards to put into the uh, unloading shed. And they'll go over to the other track, the second track in the loading shed, these two covered hoppers. For those two tracks for the unloading shed, you got a capacity of about eight total cars. And even though there's just three actual loading platforms on the uh, tank car track, we we'll generally put about five tank cars in there for loading. Sometimes. Depends on what mood we're in. Alright, this tank car is gonna go to the last the last open spot for loading. We have a lot of tank cars to go to this industry. We usually put a couple extras on this loading track. So there'll be five in there. Because these other two tank cars you see, they're, they're empties. The ones right in front of this covered hopper, they're gonna be put on a holding track. For this uh, move anyway. All right, this last uh, covered hopper is going to go into the un unloading track the second unloading track or we just put the other one just a minute ago
pushed them all the way into the shed. put on a holding track and we call us uh, the cards will go into a respot box so the next next person that's here switching this area will actually put them into the loading track on the next stop session is that little blue building there on the about the middle of the screen. And that's an actual industry on a CNW branch line up in Iowa. White's trucking. Of course their building is much, much bigger. And I also like the name because that's my my mother's maiden name, White, so had to put that industry on the layout. You watched one of my earlier videos, they were all, uh, a lot of my industries are named after family members and friends. Thanks 
for watching.